Hi, my name is Mark Archer from the Blowout Sax. Now, inspired by Jubel and One Day, um, a friend and I have written our own uh, uh, tropical house track, it's been called, uh, amongst many. And uh, this is the first one we're going to release. It's called As Long As The Sun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it through, through for you today on the sax. Play it on tenor, but it can be played on alto as well. I have the charts for both, so just do request them if you want the charts. And each constituent uh, set of riffs as well. I've also looped up so I can give you that, and I can give you one with, with, uh, without the sax on, so you can play it along uh, with, with the track as well. So again, just ask me for it, and I can send it through to you, so you can go out there and play it um, anywhere you like in the world um, and bring this track alive. Um, so it's called As Long As The Sun Lives In Me, um, and it's, uh, it's just a really beautiful um, summer track. So I'm going to play it first because no one knows it, unlike Jubel and uh, One Day. Um, and then I'll break it down for you and show you how to play it on tenor sax, but like I said, it can be played on alto or tenor. So, most of that was there. There's only one bit that really overlaps, which is really tricky. Um, so that's as long as the sun. So, to play this, there are a couple of different riffs. And the beauty of, of a hook is the idea is that you just keep repeating the riff and the riff and the riff. And the way that I did this was I literally improvised over the original recording and then listened through for what I call the gold nuggets, the magic parts, the parts that I think that, that may stay in your, your nut. So that's what I did um, when I initially uh, heard the recording. First take always as well, always record the first take when it's coming at you and you really don't know kind of what's, what's happening. Now, it's in the key in, for tenor, it's in sort of F major, so all your naturals and B flat. There's an initial little riff. Okay, which just sort of sets it up. And then the first part, super staccato. 
and then up, then up the um, D sort of um, almost blue scale, but without the blue note, the pentatonic scale. And again, you can ask me for the charts for these because I have them. Repeats again. And just put a slightly different ending on. So it's what I call a part one, part two. Part one, where you're setting the theme up with a lovely, memorable little hook. And part two, where you're slightly changing the, the ends each time. And then the, the third time, I just change that initial riff. I'll just bring the B flat in and a little hint of a hum. And then the riff again. So each time, each part one and part two, I'm just slightly modifying it. So it's the same, same, but slightly different. I've just moved out a CD on that one. Okay, so that's the first part. Again, do it slowly, get it under your fingers. Okay, now the second part, and again, don't forget with some of this house stuff, you can't breathe much because obviously we're, we're overlaying phrase after phrase after phrase. So huge breath before you have a go at this one. And this is just a... So it's just a little pattern. And that repeats twice. This time, the third time, I don't drop it on the C. The first time. So it's just a slight modification. So again, you're playing the same theme, but you're just making these little modifications to keep it interesting all the time. And again, if you also note that it's just within a certain range of the sax as well. So that's the second part, very hooky indeed. And then the third part is where you go for a bit of glory at the top. Again, big hum on it. And I go from the C to the top D, back to the C. And it's a really quick one. I almost don't lift the finger off the C. Hold the hum and really push the note out. So you're getting a good mobility from the top D to the C. And that repeats again. Little gap. And then the fourth section, the fourth um, riff, if you like, is like the second section, but chopped up. So it's the same little pattern. Sometimes the C goes high, sometimes the C goes low, but it just changes all the time. And again, train your fingers into these little riffs. So it's super hooky, this one. And then the final thing you've got is just the descend down the scale. And as you do it, what you do is you blow the first note and then tongue the second. So you go. As the music drops out and then you, you crash back in with the top C. And then if you've got super big lungs, which obviously you saw I don't, you get into the... And getting back into that riff, but I don't have that capacity because they do overlap. Um, and that's basically the song, and then the, 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 the constituent parts go back in. Um, really nice dancey song, super friendly on the sax, works on alto, works on tenor. I originally played it on tenor sax, hence why I'm showing you how to play it on tenor sax. Um, as long as the sun lives in me, binkies. I think it's lovely and uh, hopefully a lot of saxophone players out there will enjoy playing it. Um, if you want the music and you want the chart, get hold of me and uh, I'll get that to you and uh, have some fun and then film yourself playing it and send it back to me. That'd be really cool. Good. Enjoy playing the sax. Take care.